Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the nth value analytic function to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. nth value is similar to the first value and last value analytic functions, but we can choose the offset relative to the first or last row of the window. We start off with a list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on the salaries stored in the SAL column. We want to return all the raw data along with the salary of the third lowest paid person. We don't have a partitioning clause in the analytic clause, so the whole result set is treated as one partition. We've ordered by salary, so that's the smallest to the highest salary. We use nth value of the salary with an offset of 3 to capture the third. From first indicates the offset is from the start of the window. This almost gives us the result we want, a column populated with the third lowest salary, but the first two rows have no value. Why? When the analytics clause includes an order by, we automatically get a default windowing clause. The default windowing clause is range between unbounded proceeding and current row. So by not including a windowing clause, this is what we actually asked for. The analytic function is constrained by the windowing clause, which is why we get the missing data. For row 1, the window is the top of the result set to current row. There is no third row. For row 2, the window is top of the result set to current row. Once again, there is no third row. For row 3 onward, the third row is now present in the window, so we get a value from it. We asked the wrong question, so we didn't get the answer we expected. We should have asked for the window to span the whole partition. One way of doing this is to use rows between unbounded preceding and unbounded following. The analytic function is now based on the whole partition. Since we have no partitioning clause, the whole result set is one big partition. Now we get the result we expected. We can use these values in mathematical operations. Here we add another column to the select list. We take the salary of the current row, and subtract the value returned by nth value. This gives us a difference between the current salary and that of the third lowest paid person. As expected, for each row we see the difference between the current salary and that of the third lowest paid person. To get the third highest salary, all we have to do is use from last. But remember the windowing clause. If we ask the wrong question, we won't get the answer we expect. Notice we have forgotten to include the windowing clause again, so we'll be using the default windowing clause. This gives us a result that looks similar to a lag with an offset of 2. We need to remember to add the appropriate windowing clause for the question we're asking. We use from last and allow the analytic function to see the whole partition. Now we get the expected result. In this example we've asked for the second lowest and second highest salary. We've partitioned both by department. This sets the boundary for the analytic function. The windowing clause includes all rows in the partition. We get the expected result, the raw data plus the second lowest and second highest salary, on a per department basis. Department 10 has three rows, so the second lowest salary is also the second highest salary. An offset of 1 makes nth value act like first value and last value. Here we've included nth value with an offset of 1 from first and the equivalent first value call. 
Notice both can use the default windowing clause to give the result we want. We've also included nth value with an offset of 1 from last and the equivalent last value call. These both need a custom windowing clause. We can see we've achieved the same result in two different ways. Hopefully this has given you some idea of what the nth value analytic function can be used for. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.